how you feel about Queen having another baby? I, I feel fantastic. Like that. Uh, congratulations to her. Congratulations to Queen and Clarence for having a baby. Like. All I, all I wanted was a hundred million dollars and a bad chick. Imagine this a Muslim nice and felt like that. I had it back on the mattress, staring at the ceiling. What is good, my ninja gang? What is poppin', y'all? What is good? Welcome back to my channel today. I am about to do a Q&A video. And yes, I am in my bathroom. But, look, about to pull up these questions. Um, I just put it on Snap. I said, send me uh, questions. So I didn't put it on Instagram. So whoever didn't get it, I'm sorry. But there's always next time, because I always do Q&As. And my mom loves Q&As. <laughs> Am I a little too bright? A little too pale? There we go, there we go. <laughs> but y'all, before this video starts, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video, comment down below right now, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever it is. I, I love your videos, you know, whatever. Hey, I'm liking them all. I always like them. Uh, well, I try to heart them as much as I can. But yes, let me uh, scroll down because I put this a little bit ago, but I know where they are, so. Okay, where do you see yourself a year from today? I really don't know, but hopefully, you know, hopefully from a year now, from a year now, I'm at like a million subscribers, uh, I'm taking care, you know, making sure all my family's good, all my family's good because I helped them out, you know, stuff like that. Making everybody laugh every single day, you know, getting funnier, all that, you know, maybe have my own show maybe because i'm so funny something you know something like that you know who knows i really don't know what i'm going to do in a year but hopefully just more successful than i am now even though i'm successful right now but more successful than i am now a lot more because you always can grow grow you always can grow no matter what what is your relationship status uh i'm single uh yeah i'm single ready to mingle what's your full name my full name is Joshua, but everybody calls me Josh because I don't know, it's a lot better, I guess. And then my middle name is Antonio. So that's why me and Antonio are always, you know, oh, what's your middle name, Antonio? We always like, ah, oh, cause that's it. When he, when he first figured out my middle name was Antonio, we was like, that's crazy. But I never told him and he was like, so you tell me this whole time your middle name was Antonio and you didn't tell me? I'm like, yeah, my fault. <laughs> but yeah, when's your birthday? So this person asked a whole bunch of uh, questions. When's your birthday? My birthday is August 15th. I was born in 1997. And then what is your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign is a Leo. So Leo gang all day, you know what I'm saying? Leo gang. So if you're a Leo, I mess with you. <laughs> and if you're not, I still mess with you. Okay. Someone said, who am I? <laughs> I'm Josh's life, I'm that boy. Do I live with Chris? No, I have my own condo. The reason we have not shown it is because everything's not put together. We want like a whole, I, we want it just decorated to the fullest, you know? We want pictures everywhere, we want all that. So we're not gonna show you till we get every single little thing done. So, hope that answers your question. Do you live with Chris? <laughs> No, I don't live with Chris. I'm literally in my condo right now, but I'm just showing you like a corner part of a room. Next question. Who's Camaro faster, Chris or Jordan? See, so this is actually a good question. I'm glad they asked this. So I always drive in Jordan's Camaro. I used to always drive in Chris's Camaro. So Jordan just got, you know, upgraded his Camaro, put some stuff on it, you know, pipes and stuff. And I actually, I think it's fast, but the other Camaro, I'm not sure what that has in it, but they're like, they're like equal speed when you're driving. But I'm going to have to go with Jordans. I drive in every day because I think it's, I, I think it's fast. So I'm going to go with Jordans just because, because I still think, I don't know. I don't know what uh, Chris's Camaro has in it, but I'm going Jordan's Camaro. Jordan's Camaro. How tall am I? I am five, ten and a half. But when everybody asks me, I say 5'11 because I got a round dough, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> these questions are, these questions are crazy. Some of them are crazy. Are you staying in Houston for good now? Yes. The only time I'm not going to be in Houston is if 
we travel somewhere or if you know I visit you know I'm on a trade or if I visit my family in Indiana that's the only times I won't be in Houston but yes I live here for good if YouTube ooh, this is a good one I like these questions are good guys I, I like these questions if YouTube wasn't invented or thought of where do you think you would be right now hmm I would probably be still working at uh, some car place, some car dealership or something like that. Um, you know, I might go back to college, uh, but college is really not for me, but I probably would go back to college because I wouldn't want to work a nine to five, like a, you know, working at a dealership or food restaurant, you know, stuff like that. I would probably go back to school and get a degree. What's some of your pet peeves? Guys, when I say that, when I say that school thing, school is really not for me. I was horrible at school. I didn't do good. I just didn't pay attention to all of that. But what's some of your pet peeves? Guys, I hate when people go, like, close your mouth, bro. Like, it's, it's easy. It's really easy. Like, why can't you do that? Why? If your nose ain't stuffy, why are you chewing like, Please tell me, like that stuff is, oh, and this. I'm, ooh, I'm cringing thinking about it. <sighs> Running your fingernails through like a chalkboard or anything that just makes that creepy noise. I hate it. If you do that around me, we might have to fight. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, that's one of my pet peeves. That, ooh, I hate that. Oh, when I hit uh, like a fork or spoon on my teeth, Oh shoot, that's horrible. I hate that too. Mm. I don't hate a lot of things, but then two things, mm. I don't like that. Okay, how are you? Okay, I'll answer that. How's your, when's your birthday? I'll answer that. Okay, answer both of them. How do you feel about Queen having another baby? I, I feel fantastic. Like that, a congratulations to her. Congratulations to Queen and Clarence for having a baby. Like, I don't know why you guys always ask me these questions because. I'm still Queen's friend. It's just she's she's moving everywhere. Like she's busy right now. But when she visits here, you know, I'll be more than gladly to hang out. Like we did like I'll be more than gladly to hang out. But um how do I feel about Queen? Yeah, congratulations. Like that's that's something to be happy for. Like why would I be mad? Chris is my friend. I get it. That's done and over with, bro. Like I'm happy for Queen. That's something to just be joyful about, happy, extremely smiling, nonstop. Like, having a baby is a blessing. So, if you guys wanted a bad answer, you didn't get it because I'm really happy for Queen. Like, she's doing good. She just got a baby. Like, that's, that's perfect. I'm happy for you, Queen. I'm happy. Definitely happy for you and Clarence. Hmm. How did you meet Chris and Antonio and Jordan and M and Vaughn? Quad everybody, by the way. Well, my goodness, that's a lot. So, Chris, I met Chris. Um, I met Chris in Houston, uh, just doing YouTube, basically. Antonio, I met Antonio in Houston, actually at a club. I saw him, and uh, he introduced us to everybody, or he introduced himself to everybody, and we became good friends. And now we're here together. Jordan, I met Jordan at the uh, gym and I, uh, you know, we just became cool and then he started YouTube and look where he's at now. Em and Vaughn, I met them in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I met Vaughn at a, uh, at a gym in uh, Indiana, at, actually at the college I was going to. And uh, actually, Vaughn was super, super skinny, dunking like crazy, windmilling, doing anything he basically wanted to in basketball. But then he got hurt, blah, 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 and you know, Things happen, but yes, I met them both at uh, I I met Vaughn at the gym, and then later on, Vaughn got with M, and I met M. So that's how. And then Quad, I met Quad in Houston uh, through Chris. So and then now we're good friends. So and yeah, I'm on and try. I met them in Houston too through Chris. Um, yeah, that's that's basically it. oh perfect laughs. I met perfect laughs. Uh, she came down and started you know hanging out with us. You know, thought we was cool people, and now we sisters, brothers, like, that, it, that stuff's crazy. Like, we came a long way from the bottom. I'm gonna do a couple more. I'm gonna do probably, like, five. 
Would you date a black girl? This is the big question like everybody asks. Yes, I would date a black girl. Yes, I said that in my video and smash the past when I'm on a trip. But people change their mind. Or our mind and bond. But people change their minds. Like people change their perspective. Like it's not that I never like black girls. It it's hard to say, but I yes, I do like black girls. Um I hung out with a black girl the other day. Like, if y'all really want to know. But um yes, I I like any type. Uh, yes. Answer your question, would you date a black girl? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Mm. That wasn't a question. <laughs> Do you miss living with Jazz and Tay? Um, yeah, I miss living with Jazz and Tay because, you know, I can see Jazz and Tay every day. I can see Jazz and Tay every day now, but everybody, you know, we live on our own. We got... We had different things to do, you know, it's just, you know, I can see Jazz and Tay whenever I want. But, do I miss living with Jazz and Tay? Yeah, it was fun, it was really fun living with everybody, even just, you know, not just Jazz and Tay, but to answer your question, do I miss living with Jazz and Tay? Yes, because every day, you know, waking up, your friends right there, or, you know, when you wake up, get out your bed, your friends right there, you can hang out, you know, do that. But, you know, Everybody living on their own. Everybody paired up. We, we got the buddy system going, you know, Jazz and Tay, Armand and Trey, you know, Chris, Quacker, you know, Antonio, you know, all that. Me and Jordan, you know, we, we all together still. We all see each other, not almost every day, but every other day, you know. So, yes, I miss living with Jazz and Tay, for sure. Oh, I went all the way out. I don't want to skip. I don't want to skip right now. Baby, <laughs> they said, "How is Chris so dang cute?" Um, you know, jeans, jeans. You know, he grew that beard. Without the beard, I don't know what he would really look like. He wouldn't look as good with the beard. <laughs> Just like if I took my beard off, I wouldn't look as good. But I don't know. Chris is, Chris is a handsome man. You know what I'm saying? Handsome man, no homo. What's your favorite place? Uh, I'm not sure what favorite place means. Like who plays what, but. I go to Sky Zone a lot, so I like Sky Zone. Do you have a crush? Do I have a crush on anybody? I, mm, I, I couldn't really say that. Uh, no, not off the right, right off the top of my head. I don't have a crush on anybody, but um, I do think a lot of girls are cute in this world. So that answers it. That kind. I mean, that doesn't really answer it, but I think a lot of girls are cute in this world. But I'm sure if I sat down and looked at some girls, I would have a crush, obviously, because there's a lot of pretty girls out there. A lot of pretty girls out there. When am I going to visit Armand and Trey? Um, actually, I just, you know, Armand and Trey were just down here, so they visited and we saw them, we hung out, we made videos, did all that. You know, it was fun. It was really fun in a short period of time. And uh, hopefully Armand, uh, I don't know who has a Luda Day weekend basketball game, but I really want to see it because I, I think Armand played in it and that's my boy, and he's called at basketball, and I want to see him mess some ankles up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm gonna do two more. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer this one just because it's uh, it's it's kind of a dumb question. Um, do you really like Chris Sales and Parker? Like, <laughs> I shouldn't even answer this one, but do you like Chris Sales and Parker? That is one of the stupidest questions I ever you know thought about in my life or heard in my life. Chris Ellis is one of my good friends, best friends. Uh, Parker, I love Parker to death. I'd do anything for Parker. I'd kill someone for Parker. I'd kill someone for Chris. I'd kill someone for Antonio, Jordan, Jazz, Tay, Armand, and Trey, Queen. You know, all my friends. I would, I would die for them. That's that's what that's what friends. That's what friends are. Like if they're your real friends, you would die for them. Like, you would take a bullet for them. And all of them know I would take a bullet for them. But, obviously, I love Chris L. I love Parker. Like, those are my brothers and sisters. We built a bond that can't be broken. Like, so, I didn't like that question, but I answered it anyways. Let me find one last good one, and that will be it for this video. These are really, like, all the, all the same, kind of. Like, how are you... Blah, 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 you know, okay. My, when was my last relationship? My last relationship was, uh, 
back like two years ago, three years ago. I really didn't keep count now, but like it was like two, three years ago. Um, and it was it was good. I, I liked it. I was actually in love with this girl, but uh, things went downhill and things were, you know, I want, let's just say, I want to be doing YouTube right now. I wouldn't have met all these people in my life right now if, if I didn't, you know, if we didn't break up. So, yeah, so that was my last relationship. You know, uh, it was a good relationship, but you know, things started getting real bumpy. I started doing stupid things, you know, not really listening to her, not doing the little things in relationships. Uh, yeah. But if I could go back, I would fix things. But like if I was not forced, but you know, if I if I went back today, I would fix those things. And we'd probably be still cool right now. I'm going on like a five year relationship. But also I would say I would not want to get back in a relationship just because I wouldn't be here today. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't be doing YouTube. I wouldn't have met any of my good friends right now, you know, in my circle. And yeah. But, uh, but yeah, that was my last relationship. And do you want a relationship? Um, I, yeah, relationships are cool to me. I don't, I don't like, you know, doing all that. Um, but yeah, uh, do I want to be in a relationship? I wouldn't mind being in a relationship. Having a girlfriend is cool. I liked it. I like it. Um, that's the last question. That's all I'm going to answer, guys. That's, that's the end of this video. Uh, it's kind of long, 18 minutes. Uh, let me edit it down a little bit. But, hey, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this video, make sure you smash the like button. If you want to leave some feedback, there's a comment section for a reason. Comment down below anything you want. First, second, last. Don't matter. Love you guys so much. I just love you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys want notifications every single day of my videos, Press that bell, ding, 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 you know what I'm saying, ding, 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 you know, feel me. But yeah, if you want notifications, just press that bell. Hey, I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.